it's Reckless so and welcome to Breaking the Fourth Wall. So, in this video, I want to show you guys how to actually counter sticky grenades. And yes, it is possible. No, this is not a trick, a joke, clickbait, etc. Now, it's not easy to counter sticky grenades, whether it being fusion, magnetic, or the flux grenade. It takes time, practice, and most importantly, patience. But the funny part is you probably do all of these things all the time and you just don't realize it. So I actually went into a private match with a buddy of mine and we did a little bit of testing. And I'm going to go over with you guys what does and does not work when it comes to countering sticky grenades. And I will be showing you guys examples of each. Now I actually broken this down into four different sections. There is 11 different ways to actually counter sticky grenades. So the first section we'll be going over is the evades. The second would be the prevents. The third would be the things that save you from dying. And the fourth would be the miscellaneous. So we are actually going to start with the evades first. So since we are actually starting off with the evades, there are four different evades you can use to counter sticky grenades. The first being Blink, which you can use on a Warlock or a Blade Dancer Hunter. And I'm pretty sure Ionic Blink works as well. Number two would be the Shade Step for your Night Stalker Hunter. Number three is the Bones of Ao, from which you can use on all of your Hunter subclasses. And number four is the Twilight Garrison, from which, again, you can actually use on all of your Titan subclasses. So for five and six, I like to put them in a group called Prevents. Now what this actually does is it prevents the user from actually using their sticky grenades. So number five is the Suppressor Grenade from the Defender Titan. Number six is the Night Stalker Shadow Shot. Now, when it comes to the Shadow Shot, you can either kill the target with it, which doesn't really prevent them from using it, it just kills them, or you can actually shoot your tether next to them and have it actually tether them, which will prevent them from using any of their abilities. Number seven and number eight are in the group that saves you from dying. So, number seven. Pop in your super after you're stuck. Now this actually works for every class except the Gunslinger and Defender if you are using Weapons of Light.
Number eight, pop in your super before you're stuck. Now, this does not work for the Night Stalker, Gunslinger, and Striker subclasses. However, the Voidwalker and Defender are exceptions to this rule due to their abilities that save their lives. Now, numbers 9 through 11 are actually in my miscellaneous group. And the reason why they're in my miscellaneous group is because sometimes they work, but then again, sometimes they don't. So, number 9, countering sticky grenades with other sticky grenades. Pretty much whoever sticky grenade locks on first and then gets out of the way usually wins. Number 10, you need to make yourself a hard target. So, by staying indoors and constantly running around corners, is definitely gonna save you, especially if they waste that sticky grenade as soon as you're going around the corner and they don't stick you. And number 11 is the most iffy out of all of the things that work. And that is sliding. It may or may not work depending on if the person throwing the sticky grenade actually overthrows their grenade. Even though sliding doesn't always work, somehow, some way, just jumping straight up in the air does. So now that we actually cover the things that do work, let's actually go over the things that don't work. And there are five things that actually come to mind. So number one, everything that I said about what does work in reference to the evades after you're already stuck. For example, if the person sticks you with the sticky grenade and you try to blink, shape step, use bones of AO or Twilight Garrison, you're still gonna die. Number two, sticky versus juggernaut when you're on your striker titan. If you are a striker titan and you are running at somebody with the sticky and they stick you, juggernaut activates, and you still have Juggernaut activated, you will still die. Juggernaut does not save you. Number three, Sticky versus Soldier Charge. Same concept. If you are a Striker Titan and you are running towards a person and they stick you and you tried Shoulder Charging, you will still die from the Sticky Grenade. Shoulder Charge will not save you. Number four, Going invis. When you go invis as a hunter, you are more so transparent like the predator and not invisible. So you can still be seen. And last but not least, number five. Running away after you're already stuck. Running isn't gonna put out the fire. You're still gonna die. Just like number one, where uh, evades don't help you after you're stuck, running is not gonna help you either. In the end, when countering sticky grenades, it really comes down to the most important aspect of PVP, which is timing. If you time your abilities and your attacks correctly, then you will have no issues countering sticky grenades. Timing, however, is not an easy thing to master, especially given when I was doing the testing, I had to get the timings correct myself. So, what do you guys think? Do you agree or disagree with me? Let me know down below. Also, if I missed anything when it comes to countering sticky grenades, then please let me know in the comments. That way, I can actually improve. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. Like the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you disliked it. Share it if you felt it was helpful. Subscribe and turn on your notifications in order to keep up to date with all of my videos. Thank you guys for all of your support. Feedback in the comments definitely helps the channel to grow. I'm Reckless, and remember, own your success, and I will see you guys next time.